And we made it to the top of the countdown, the top weather events of uh, 2016. Now let's start by looking at number one. You can tell by this image it's going to be a flood of some sort. And it was a flooding that occurred here in Fremont County between the uh, 6th and the 11th of May. And there were a few things to help set this up. First, we want to take a look at the uh, weather pattern over those days. This was taken uh, May 6th when it really started. Because this is what meteorologists call a highly amplified pattern. You can see big ridge in the middle here. This is up, and then a couple of troughs here across both the west and the east coast. And it cut up off a little low here. It's not moving very fast, so as a result, slow moving weather pattern. So we had it stuck in that wet pattern, a lot of moisture coming in here off the Pacific and that set the stage for a lot of heavy rain. But actually, this was set up a couple months beforehand. The last event we talked about was a real big snowstorm we had in the end of March. That brought two, sometimes three inches of uh, liquid equivalent. That snow just sitting up in the mountains waiting for it to melt. And uh, April, or April was a very wet and also a very cool month, so there's even more snow added up in the mountains. You see by taking a look at just how wet was it, March and April combined, Lander, Riverden, as well as Jeffrey City, number one wet period on record. So that was another ingredient. And the thing that really broke the camel's back was the very heavy rain we had both the 6th into the 7th. You can take a look at this radar estimate. I know you can't really read the scale very well. But anywhere in the red, four to six, that's four to six inches of rain across that area. So you put that on top of all the snow, it melted really quickly. And with the steep terrain in that area, it's not good. It's going to raise those levels really high, and the rivers just couldn't handle it. And the end result was some flooding. As a matter of fact, this is at the Lander Airport. Records there kept back to the 1800s, 120 years of records. And over two, a two-day period, about 48 hours, third highest ever. That's pretty impressive. That was a stat that really uh, shocked me. I was actually working when this happened. And this is one of the river gauges. This is the Little Wind River gauge. And rivered right by the bridge, if you know where that is, in 789. Look at how quickly it spiked up, basically, from the 7th to the 8th. We went from about, say, 3, 4 feet all the way up to about 9 feet before it topped out at 10 feet during the Sunday-Monday time frame. Now, it did dry out after this, so the rivers did decrease quite a bit after that. So that was the one good news in that area. If you're wondering why this is so impressive, this is a big stat here. What is two-day period in Lander in 92 years? Yeah, I had to go back to 1924 for two combined days that were wetter than that. Also, rate of rainfall is so heavy. In the Lander Hospital actually seeped through the walls. They had to evacuate a lot of patients. The Riverton Hospital, in some cases as far as Casper. And a lot of homes were flooded in the Lions Valley. I remember driving by there. Also, Hudson, Arapahoe. Hudson, probably the hardest to area. Many mobile homes were damaged. And even some of the uh, ordinary houses had a lot of flooding in the basements as well. And also, many rural roads were flooded and closed. Mainly the uh, dirt roads, but there were a couple, especially when you get out in the Wind River Indian Reservation, that were shut down for a couple of days as well. One thing I want to emphasize, you know, pictures and video speak louder than words in this case. So we do have a video. We shot this back in May of a short video and also some picture images of the flooding. So stay tuned for that if you want to watch it. And I want to thank you for uh, joining us for this countdown of the top weather events of the year. Have a happy new year and a good 2017.